Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the String King Composite Pro Hockey Stick Review. Um, I don't know what this is, um, and what I mean by that is, so on their website, I think this, this retails for $269, I believe, on their website. I will correct that on if I am wrong. Um, I asked them if they had any like tech into it, and about like if they, because their lacrosse sticks have like stronger portions of it if you're like a defense or something like that. i'm not i don't know anything about lacrosse but they do different things to the stick to make it play for different players um and i asked them if any of that technology was put into this and they said no um i think this is a 430 gram stick i weighed it when i originally got it all the weights are online the weird thing about shrinking is the taller the stick the more expensive it is which is very strange i don't know why usually it's just like or sorry the different flexes, the more expensive it is, which is really strange to me. Um, again, I, I'm not sure what's going on there. So this stick, full disclosure, String King sent me this stick to do a review on and to make content on. And I don't understand it. Um, so I have all these sticks right here that I've been testing recently. And I got this one first. But the, this was like the weirdest one because I there's so many sticks in the market and so many smaller companies kind of coming out in the market now that I don't really understand what this is and what the point of it is. It's heavy. It's not crazy light. The Hopa is crazy light, like really light compared to this. Um, this is like the heaviest stick I've gotten in a while and it's still expensive. It's not like it's an $80 stick. It's pretty expensive. Um, it's a mid kick, but I, it's, like one of the weirdest feeling sticks. I feel like the kick point on it isn't consistent at all. And I can never get like a consistent shot on it. Puck feels the same thing. Like it's just okay. Um, it, the, the blade isn't like super stiff. It feels, it honestly, this feels like a knockoff Chinese made, which I'm pretty sure it is made in China. Um, a knockoff, like no name stick that you can get for wholesale on like AliExpress. Um, except this one's kind of heavier. I want to support small companies that are trying new things, but this stick is just like, it's honestly the worst stick I've used since a Verbero Vara Pro. And that stick was better than this one. It was lighter. Um, the Vara Pro just didn't shoot that well. This just doesn't shoot well either. Um, and I've given it to a couple people to shoot with it. And they all kind of just looked at me and was like, what, like, what is, supposed to be special about this and that's my thoughts on it um i guess the grip is okay um there's no grip at the bottom you can't see any of the weave at all if there is weave it feels heavy enough that it's like the level of composite that might not even have like normal weave on it um it's, i don't know the point of this stick and i don't know like what they're trying to do here because i asked them and they didn't really give me any details um I really appreciate them sending me this stick to do like to review and it's just not good. Um, there's many others better at the price point. If this is the stick you're coming out with, you got to drop that price massively because this isn't worth, I wouldn't say this is worth 80 bucks us. Um, and this is sells for a lot more than that. So that's about all I can say about this stick. Um, I did not have an enjoyable time with it. It was a normal P92 curve, P29 curve, um, which I guess I can show off. But again, I did not have a good time with it. Wasn't great shooting. My puck feel wasn't that good. Nothing about it was special. Nothing about it was really good either. It was just, it was actually pretty bad to be honest. Um, so yeah, I won't be really using this stick anymore because it's, I'm not a fan of it and I have many others to use. So that's about it. So thank you, String King, for sending me this stick. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. Remember to like to me on, like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the bell icon to so get notified when I make new content. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description below. Helps me get more gear and so I can make more content like this and do reviews on. Um, so thank you very much for watching and take it easy.